So Mid Kansas Auto Auction is a dealer's only auto auction. Uh, so you have to have a license to come and purchase cars here. So we actually were looking for a not-for-profit that we could support. We are big believers that as business owners, giving back to the community that we live in and that we participate in and send our kids to school in is almost a responsibility that we have. So once we were ready to really focus on that and we felt like we could make a positive impact, we started looking. Found Wichita's Littlest Heroes online, a great organization. We felt like we really aligned when talking with Bree about how she got started and you know she saw a need and she went out and did it and that that really lines up with what we did here. I think what stood out most was the direct impact. There's a lot of very large organizations. I come from a background of not-for-profit, but sometimes you have to kind of peel back the layers to see where that money's going or exactly the impact that it's having. And with Wichita's Little Heroes, there wasn't a big line between um, what was being donated, what was being brought in, the efforts that Bree and her team were making, and exactly where it was going. You know, money would come in and they were turning around and they were turning it into groceries and they were handing that out to their people. It was very obvious, it was very immediate, and you could literally talk to the people and shake their hands and be like, you know, this money came in an hour ago and now it's going here. That's just a really unique thing. When it comes to nonprofits, there's usually a lot of red tape, there's usually a lot of like I said, just time, it just takes time to process things and do things, and so they do have positive impacts, but it, you just don't always see them as quickly. Every June, we have what we labeled our helping hand sale, and then it specifically um, contributes to Wichita's Little Heroes. Time is a commodity that everybody is short on these days, which is why we ask all of our dealers at that time to donate, anybody who can, so we have a large impact in a short amount of time. So what we do to kind of cross those paths, to meet some of those hero families, to either go to some of the events, uh, we ask them to come here and be present, just a couple of them, four or five, uh, during our sale where we're raising money for which has Littlest Heroes, to see the families sitting out here, and again, just seeing exactly where your donations are going it it just makes all the difference you know people have come up and told me like that's why I did it you know I met so-and-so in here and he's like I threw a hundred dollars in the jar because I couldn't not like I'm watching him eat his lunch through a tube and that's just not fair I just I've got to do the little bit that I can so I would I would extremely encourage anybody to like I said just get to know any of the hero families just go to any of the events or just even talk to Bree and the team like that made a, that's what sealed the deal for me, was just sitting down and you can read everything online, you can look at pictures, everybody has a good intention, um, but to sit down and learn about some of the families is just, I think it makes all the difference.